was something. Well, it, whatever it was, it seems to be in uh, pretty dire straits. I don't even remember if there's anything back here, but... Nah. I think it just takes you back out again, that's yeah. all. They don't put it in the same place as uh, Damsian. Yeah. Unfortunately. Yeah. Because that would be funny. It's like, they wouldn't expect us to do this twice. No, they used the same builder. <laughs> this place looked like it got wrecked pretty bad, too. Yeah. Well, let's see if we can get... Uh... Any semblance of what's going on here. In we go. The right tower. Mm. Maze and goodies. So this place is pretty much um, poke around walls for the dungeon. Yeah. You know, we were talking about earlier about there's other places in the game that look just like this. Uh-huh. This is one of them. Yeah. So many hidden places to go. Yeah, and some of them are straight devious, too. Yeah, they are. They're really sneaky. It takes a while if you don't, like, use a guide to just figure it out on your own. It just takes a really long time. I gotta switch. And then, of course, you're like, well, how am I supposed to get that one next mm -hmm. to the hole? Well, if you do that. Like, oh, no! Monster! And these are serious yeah, these monsters. Are, you got to be prepared yeah. for these boys. They're tough. This is sort of like the big question at this point of the game is whether you can take the monsters in the chests. Right, yeah. Oh, dear. Okay, oh. that could have been worse. Got lucky. Didn't get lucky. Nope. I like her, um, positioning up her hand under her chin like she knows, like... <laughs> Alright, that's one down. <laughs> uh, Might as well. Let's cure Yang's swoon real quick. Aw, oh, little chair. Nice. Double nice. That should do it. I hope so. Yeah. All right. Spicy. Let's go. So, level, and more importantly, the, the drain sphere. Yeah, I can't use it right now, but it's there. Really good. We'll save it. Also, I just realized something. What's that? I have Sid in the back, uh, and he's a he's a melee uh, fighter. Oh yeah. Well, we can use uh, change to shift our pattern to have three forward instead of three back. Yep. And I'm just going to span these because... Got to use them sometime. Yeah, that and they're at the point, more at the point in the game now where these aren't very good anymore. That'll work. So we can uh, change and then move everyone around. Bam. Oh, no telefront row? All right. Yeah, no telephone row. That's a bad idea. Aha! Double wee! The basement. I have to remember there's one more monster in here. I think it's on the right. I know this one is extra tough. Yeah. Unfortunately, there's not a whole lot you can really do to prep for it. Yeah, there really isn't. Uh, I guess we'll just go for it and hope for the best. Get him! Eight the DS version, let's go. Yeah, this is the tough one. They look mad. Mad lad ogres. Alright, I can live with this so far. I think there is a way to deal with them. That's a good start. Four twenty. What madness is this? Any day now, Tella. Tella, please! He's chanting like they do in Bleach. It's like an hour-long speech of the, the spell he's casting. Pretty much. Alright, nice. Aha! Un oh. 
uh -huh. real. So that's how you do it. Now these guys aren't gonna, yeah. Wow. They don't have any ability besides just slapping you. So the hard part's over. Well then. Now we can just take Yikes. our time. And they have drastically less defense. Yep. That's so silly. Oh. <laughs> well, against some things. I don't even, I don't even know what to do about that. Right, let's heal up. Laugh and move the on. The funny thing is how that sprite is associated with usually the guys that do a ton of damage normally. Oh, yeah. those tiny mages. Yeah, the mages. So this is like more probably the first real instance of when I was saying like at the way at the beginning of this let's play like how if you know how to use status effects you really change the entire experience of the game. This is just such a specific example of it. But that but they're all specific examples. Right. It's, there's always like one monster in every dungeon from this point on that's going to give you trouble unless you know how to deal with it. This is one tiny sample. Oh, that's good to get. But more importantly. That's it. The item. Also, uh, those monsters and all monsters like that, like the giant types, have a chance of dropping giant gloves. Oh, yeah. Which are really good. They're a, a glove slot item that gives you, like, five strength, I want to say. Right. Which one is of those really, really strong. One out of 64 chance drops that some of the enemies in this game have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's insanely good. Although I think theirs is only like a 1 in 32 or something like that. Oh, that's not bad. No, no it's, it's, it's actually worth farming if you want to. I'm not going to, but you could. Right. No, that's two fights down. There might be one more. Yeah, up one of the towers there might be another, but I think those are the hard ones. Yeah. All right, so we cleared the right tower. Let's see yes. what we got over here. I'm glad we decided to risk it after all. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. This looks familiar. The same way this time. Hmm. They're learning. Perhaps it's the way we tried last time. Uh. Aha! Aha. On this side. Don't. Skull. Aw, I'm just picturing, like, a French bread golem. <laughs> Stale man. <laughs> That's good. So I don't remember exactly how to deal with that golem guy. It might be the same way, thinking about it. Mm -hmm. But I'm just going to hopefully get the fire off, and we'll see if that does it. Right. And hopefully uh, the skulls don't like fire. They do not. Yeah. So with just him left to deal with. What? Aww. Food, food coma. Sense. Food coma. No, oh, I see. Ice. Be doing a pretty good amount. Oh. Do you mind? Hello. Not often you see a physical attack with a sleep. Um. They're just rubbing in how boring this combat ended up being. They, they expected <laughs> to have to grind to defeat these guys. Also, kind of true. Hello, man. We got to work on your MP. We've been trying. Dude. Right. I wish I had a way of dealing uh, ice damage. But I do not. I think he didn't fall asleep there. If you guys want to wake up at some point. Wow. Hmm. Wow. This is kind of terrible. It is, because even... Um, well, I guess Sid was doing the most damage, but even... Uh, Tella's not going to be able to hit him with, like, an ice three or anything. This isn't even the hard fight. I'm trying to get dull. Oh, that would have been the big one. All right, oh, whatever. he clutches it! This is what they get for being cocky and, and tons to of asleep. experience for Sid and Cecil. It's the equivalent of being in a Aww. game and doing slash dance when the enemy team comes over and just blasts you while you're emoting. Pretty much. The Slumber Sword. Ooh, That's fitting. Big damage. Oh, I'm just gonna leave that on. I like the name. All right, let's wake up uh, the others. Now, 
The other thing we could technically do is trudge outside and tent. We could, but I don't think there are any more combats. I think we're actually done now. Okay. I'm gonna throw like one ether on yeah. Tell it just in case. And then we'll have Cecil do the rest of the healing. Slowly. <laughs> That's something. Reboot after that exciting battle against Flavor. Yeah, no kidding. It's the spiciest of encounters, and I was not ready for it. Can anyone really be ready for a bread elemental? <laughs> <laughs> a toast to you, good sir. Uh, is that it? Yeah, okay. I think it's the same thing with the other one. We have to fall into it. Ah, just, I think. That looks right because of that pit over there. Could telegraph that a little harder. Mute. Money. So mute, mute arrows are kind of cool. If you use them against mage type enemies, it does like four times damage. An ether. I think my body saw people sleeping. I was like, that's oh, me. It's just a staircase. Up yeah. Down. My body got so sleepy. Oh dear. I think that's it, yeah. Uh, it sounds right. So I think we've cleared both towers. So which just leaves the uh, the central area. Nice. Yeah. Which I'm not even sure there's anything of real value there, but let's check it out. Sure. This has been quite the adventure. Yeah, there's something of value in there because you're in there. Thank you. Oh, there is. <laughs> Easy passage this time. Nice. Surprise, it's not a trap. Nothing over there. Someone beat you to all of these. Ooh, that's a lot of treasure. But how to get? Oh, I think there's actually some pretty good stuff here. Yeah. How to get oh. indeed. Oh. Hello, side corridors. You're the king now. Nice. And you're out. Cabin. Cabin. The beefy tent. Yes. Good life. And so a cabin only, a, a tent only restores like I think a thousand health, or maybe it just restores half of your maximum or something like that. It's limited, is the point. Right. Yeah. A cabin is heal, heal everything. Oh, cool, yeah. It's good. All right. All right. Is that it? Are we done now here? I think we've cleared the place. I could have sworn there was more to this uh, I feel, yeah. castle, but eh, I guess not. I think it's that basement from the other tower, like the right tower going in the basement. That's yeah. that extra part. Okay, well, that's uh, the castle of Eblon. Not really sure what happened here. And they'll never tell us um, at all throughout the course of the game. Obviously, they didn't have a moat. Or a crystal. Or much of anything. Did except someone for, come through loot. and steal both the moat and the crystal? <laughs> no. What villain is responsible for this? He did just kill an enemy that surrounded himself with water as a mechanic. Uh, that's a fair point. Alrighty, so this is where we're supposed to be. So, I think uh, it's probably a good time to next time, do you think? Yeah, then, sure. Uh, yeah. We'll actually uh, advance the plot when we come back. Yeah, and then uh, I'm going to be handing the controller back off the den here. Got myself a nice little bit of exploration and all that goodness. So next time, we'll explore the town of Taroya. See you then.